In the previous video, we have implemented an input manager that will take care of getting the input from the player. And now we will create a game manager that will actually get the information from the input manager and pass it down the line to other classes responsible for placing the structures on our map. So let's start maybe now from creating in the hierarchy new game object. Let's call it game manager. By the way, sometimes it will get positioned in the strange place. So let's reset the, its transform. We can do the same for our input manager. Let's reset it simply. Great. So now what we will need to do is to create a script with the same name. So let's go to scripts. Let's right click, create C sharp script. Let's call it game manager. And let's open it up in Visual Studio. Okay. Again, we can delete everything from this uh, class that was pre-created by Unity. We will need to have an access to the camera movement script that I have provided for you. So let's create public camera movement. Alt enter on it because it is in the library using SVS. So let's uh, use SVS library and we have our camera movement. Let's call it camera movement. Okay, now we will need to also have an access to our input manager. So let's create public input manager. Let's call it input manager. Actually, we can search for it in the start method or we can drag it in the inspector. So let's drag it in the inspector when we go back to Unity. For now, what we will need to do is in the start method, we will assign to our input manager a method. So let's call input manager dot, and let's find our on mouse click event. And we are going to type plus equals, and let's call handle mouse click. Okay, and without the parentheses, and alt enter on it, and generate method game manager handle mouse click. Great. So now we should have received a vector three obj. So let's change it to position. And we can simply debug.log this. Debug.log. Let's type the position. Okay, let's save it. Let's create an update method. Because we can, of course, uh, implement the camera movement. So camera movement dot move camera and we are going to pass our new vector3 and pass input manager we have the vector so camera movement vector dot x we are going to pass 0 as y value and let's copy this long statement with the input manager camera vector and instead of x let's pass to it y so we are creating a new vector3 input Manager dot camera movement vector x without the ending parentheses zero as y value and y as z value for this new vector and this will allow us to move our camera. Let's save it and now let's go back to Unity. Okay, let's choose our game manager. Let's drag onto it our game manager script. We can assign our main camera as the camera movement script because the ca main camera has the camera movement script on it and it has a camera movement speed set to five. Let's go back to game manager game object. Let's drag to it our input system, which contains input manager script. So now we should be able to press play and we should be able to click on our map and get the position. So let's use the arrows to move our camera. You, can, you should be able to move your camera. And I think this is the zero zero position. No, this is zero 13, 14. So this will be zero zero. And we should be able to click and you can see that our position is the correct position, so the, this is the third on X and zero on Z axis. And you can see that when we are clicking on those, we are clicking on the correct position. And in addition, let's clear the console, we can click on the UI and we are not clicking on the map. So this is preventing us to call a structure placement when we, are, when we want to simply switch this type of structure that we want to place. And you can see that outside of the map, we are not able to click great. 
we will be going back to the game manager and updating the script. For now, in the next video, we will create our road manager that will be responsible for placing road structures on our map. So see you in the next video.